today, as we look and pay respects and remember and give thanks uh, for those who gave their lives during the occupation or who played a significant part in uh, bringing about a liberation, uh, we're looking at two different graves today and they both have uh, St Saviour's links. The one we're next to now is someone who uh, clearly uh, lived in the parish uh, and the second one in a moment you'll see a different story. But we're next to a grave to Lieutenant General, so he was a senior man. Uh, C-A-E, the C stands for Charles Cadell, C-B-E, M-C. And he died the 2nd of February 1951. And he was, came from a military family, and I think they had strong uh, St. Saviour's links. I'll come to that at the end. Uh, but uh, in the First World War, he got the military cross. And he got that on the 27th of July, uh, 1916, which means he almost certainly got that during one of the hardest battles of the First World War, the Somme, for bravery. But going to the Second World War, which we're looking at now, and occupation and liberation, he was one of the three senior commanders in charge of the whole anti-aircraft defence of Great Britain from 1942 to 44. And what's more, he was in charge of the First Area Corps, and that meant he was responsible for protecting London, the south of England, and South Wales. What an extraordinary responsibility at a time when uh, bombing raids and the bombings of big cities, particularly in the south, were a common event. And this man, buried here, uh, played a significant part in the defence of the realm. And I said it must be a family with strong St Saviour's links because, and indeed strong military links, because if you go into the older bit of the cemetery, section two, quite extraordinary, we could show you another grave, another Charles Cadell. He fought in the army at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. What a family history.